So you're thinking about moving to Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys, and even towns like Harrisonburg, Virginia. Well, in this video, I'm going to take you on a tour into several different neighborhoods and show you exactly what a $400,000 house looks like here in the Harrisonburg area. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I'm going to share with you something that is the largest of its kind in the area. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that. And we're going to get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, playing here in the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia's Blue Ridge and Piedmont area, just click on that subscribe button and touch that bell icon so you can be the first to be notified about all the current real estate market here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys. Hi, my name is Stephan Gleason along with my wife Leslie and we get phone calls and emails every day from folks just like you and you and you and you and we absolutely love to get those phone calls and emails and we love to help. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, just pick up the phone and give us a call. Shoot us a text, send us an email. That information is all in the description down below and we'll be happy to help you make your move to Virginia's mountains and valleys as smooth as possible. Now, as I mentioned in today's video, I'm gonna take you on a tour into several different neighborhoods and show you several different homes that are right around that $400,000 price point. But before we do that, I just kind of wanted to start out here in the Harrisonburg area. And as you, you see behind me here, uh, we're currently at the Valley Mall. Now, if you know most malls in the country today are closing at a rapid pace. Uh, however, Harrisonburg has a strong economy. And therefore, one of the things it still has, it still has a really nice mall. You can see behind me, there's an Old Navy. If I turn this way, you can see there's a Belk. On the other end, there's a um, there's a Penny's. It's the other anchor store. If I turn around, I go... If I go this way, you see right next to it here, there's a Target, and then right next to that, there's even a Kohl's behind it. So very much of an area, uh, like I say, that's still very economically vibrant and a good mall where um, you can do a lot of shopping. I know a lot of malls, like I say today, there's nothing left. As a matter of fact, I see some malls that they're tearing off stores in the end, and they've even, they've even removed malls from the uh, face of the landscape in some areas because they're just not shopped at anymore. But that being said, uh, the purpose of our video is to take you into some neighborhoods and uh, show you some homes in the $400,000 range. So let's go ahead and let's travel on over to our first neighborhood. So we're here in our first neighborhood, we're in the Green Springs neighborhood, and the house that you're looking at behind me recently sold for $400,000 exactly. It was built in 2006, it has three bedrooms and three baths, uh, and it has 2,335 square feet of finished living space, of which 1,557 is above ground. If you break that finished living space down, it breaks down about $171 a square foot. Uh, the, land, the lot is about a third of an acre lot, just a little bit more, 0.37 of an acre. Some really nice things about this neighborhood. It has some nice views from some of the homes here. Additionally, you're only about 8 to 10 minutes away from uh, the shopping, the Valley Mall that we took a look at, and JMU as well. Um, most of the houses here were built between 1996 and 2006, and they average in price from about $300,000 to $400,000. Their square footage ranges as well from about 1,500 to 3,000 square feet on average. And the lot size of each one here is about a quarter acre to a half acre lot. So that being said, this is a, just to give you an idea of the first house we're gonna take a look at. We're gonna go ahead now and go into the next neighborhood and take a look at another house in that $400,000 price range. We're here in our next neighborhood. We're in the Stone Spring Village neighborhood, and the house that I'm going to show you here in just a second, as you can see, sits at the end of a cul-de-sac, which is a really nice feature about it. Uh, this particular neighborhood, uh, most of the homes in this neighborhood were built between 1996 and 2005. They range in price from about $300,000 to $500,000. 
The average square foot is about 1,400 square feet, all the way up to about 3,800 square feet, and most of the lots are about a quarter of an acre to a half an acre. Uh, it's very conveniently located. You are about five to eight minutes away, depending on where you want to go and uh, whatever part of uh, JMU, and you're also about five to min eight minutes away from where all the shopping is over on uh, Highway 33, and like the val Valley Mall that we just saw a second ago. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn around here and take a look at the house. And uh, like I say, this particular house is on the market. It's just a little bit over the $400,000 uh, price range that we've been looking for. It's $419,000. Uh, this colonial style was built in uh, the year 2000. It has three bedrooms, has two uh, full baths and one half bath. It has 3,010 finished square feet of living space, of which 2,236 of that is above ground. Uh, there's another 238 square feet that's unfinished uh, below ground as well. And uh, if you break that down, that's about $140 a square foot, which is a really good price here in the Harrisonburg area. And the lot size, it's just a little over a third of an acre. It sits on 0.37 of a lot. So, so that being said, to kind of give you an idea uh, of a different house in a different neighborhood here. And we're going to go ahead and we'll jump on over to our last neighborhood. We're here in our last neighborhood, we're in the Belmont neighborhood, and uh, as you can see behind me, it's a really very pretty neighborhood. It's on the west side of town, and um, a few things about the neighborhood, it's uh, most of the homes in here were built from 1970 up to the late 1990s. Um, most of them are between about $300,000 and $500,000. Uh, they have about 1,500 to 4,500 square foot on average, and you're about 12 to 15 minutes away from uh, Valley Mall and the shopping area on Highway 33 that we talked about earlier, and about eight to 10 minutes from UVA. But um, here in the cul-de-sac that we're in, I wanted to show you one of the homes just here in the neighborhood and give you an idea of what you can get uh, for around the $400,000 range. And like I say, this is a little more than $400,000. Uh, the home you see behind me uh, is actually uh, currently under contract. Uh, went under contract very quickly, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's listed for $449,000. It was built in 1992. It has three bedrooms and three baths. It has 3,004 feet of finished living space, which breaks down about $149 a square, uh, square foot, which is really nice, for a, especially for a brick home. And it sits on a, uh, on a quarter acre lot. So I'm going to give you an idea here in another neighborhood, a little bit further outside of town. You're in the country a little bit more, but like I say, just a really nice neighborhood and a, a place that um, one of these days, who knows, maybe this particular neighborhood you'll call home. So that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and we'll take you on down the road. So at the beginning of the video, I told you that if you hung around to the end of the video, I was going to take you to a place that had nothing like it of its kind in the area. And here we are, we're at the Shenandoah Heritage Market. 
just kind of a really, really neat place. Uh, in addition to an antique mall, it has a, uh, a country-style cafe in it. It's got uh, Amish-made furniture. It has quilts. It has handcrafted custom furniture. It has candy and homemade fudge. It has uh, a greenhouse and produce, bulk foods, cheeses, baked goods, western apparel and tack, toys for the kids, and as you're going to see out here, all over storage buildings as well. And just kind of a really neat place. There's over 20 shops here that you can come and enjoy an afternoon here at. And you definitely, if you're looking for something from your kitchen to your shed, you're probably gonna be able to find it here at the Shenandoah Heritage Market. So, so that being said, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope that the video has given you a better idea of what a 400,000, maybe a little bit over $400,000 home looks like here in the Harrisonburg area. Like I always say, Leslie and I, we get phone calls and emails all the time from folks just like you who are looking to move to the area or looking to move out of the area or just looking to move across town. And we really love to get those calls because we really love to help. And, uh, and so if you're looking to move, whether it's nine days, 90 days, a year from now, six months from now, whenever the case may be, just pick up the phone and give us a call, you know, shoot us a text, send us that email. And we really, truly will. We'd be honored. We'd be happy to help you make your move in or around Virginia as smooth as possible. And like I always say, until next time, we'll see you around town.